Throughout the late Paleocene, which lasted from around 66 to 56 million years ago, the Earth's climate was much warmer and humid than it is today. Much of the Northern Hemisphere was covered in tropical forest that hosted a large array of creatures. With many niches left unfilled due to the recent extinction of the dinosaurs, mammals were on the rise, and larger bodied herbivores such as panthodonts and dinoceratons were becoming prevalent on most continents by the end of this epoch. However, in Europe, which was at the time an isolated island continent, it was a bird that held the title of largest terrestrial vertebrate. This bird, Gastornis, could reach a height of around 2 meters, approximately the same as the modern day ostrich. However, Gastornis was much more heavily built, and sported a massive beak and robust skeleton. Its wings, conversely, were small and vestigial, like those of many flightless birds today. While Gastornis is most easily compared to the ratites, its closest living relatives are actually the group which includes ducks and geese. As the Paleocene transitioned into the Eocene, Europe became more connected to the surrounding continents, and Gastornis was able to spread into Asia and North America. As Gastornis populated these areas, it diversified into new species. One of these, Gastornis gigantea, is the largest of the group, and is known from fossils unearthed in North America. This species was originally thought to belong to another genus, Diatrima, but has since been reclassified due to extensive similarities to other Gastornis species. Gastornis has traditionally been considered a carnivorous species, and is famous for having predated upon primitive horses such as the tiny Eohippus. The huge skull of Gastornis is judged by some scientists to be overbuilt for anything but a meat-based diet, and biomechanical analysis of the skull suggests that its jaw muscles were similarly gigantic. These scientists believe that Gastornis used its oversized beak to subdue prey and to break open bones in order to extract nutritious marrow. However, a closer look at the bird's skull reveals a straight-edged beak that would be inefficient at tearing flesh from its supposed small mammalian prey. Additionally, while Gastornis did have an extremely powerful bite, its musculature was most reminiscent of modern herbivorous birds such as grosbeaks and finches. Its eyes were also set far apart, a trait that would have restricted its depth perception, and consequently, its ability to pursue and grasp prey. Another piece of evidence in support of a herbivorous diet came in the form of fossilized footprints, which notably lacked defined raptorial claw impressions. Instead, Gastornis seems to have had blunt claws which would be ineffective at holding down prey. Finally, a geochemical analysis of calcium isotopes in Gastornis fossils showed no evidence that it ate meat at all. Rather, this study revealed that Gastornis had a diet most similar to herbivorous dinosaurs and mammals. While it seems that Gastornis was not a predator, another group of large prehistoric birds, the forest rhacids, are akin to what many scientists once believed Gastornis to be. Also known as terror birds, they had sharp talons and a distinctly hooked beak for tearing away at flesh. These South American birds were most definitely carnivorous, and persisted until as recently as 2 million years ago. Gastornis was lost much earlier, dying out around 40 million years ago in the Middle Eocene. Its extinction may have been associated with the ever-increasing competition with large mammals during this time, although because Gastornis has been shown to coexist with mammalian megafauna, the cause of this fascinating bird's demise is still largely uncertain. <laughs>